as a salesperson, our primary role or job is to process incoming leads called contacts in Business Central, and then track the potential sale associated with that contact. Uh, these are done through something called opportunities. So as you can see on my homepage here, I have it laid out that I can track all that stuff so I can see contacts, opportunities, uh, sales, and I can also have some charts of uh, sales pipeline opportunities, open opportunity, top open opportunities that exist in the system. So we're going to go to our contacts list and we're going to select a contact here, Evan. And from here, I can create a new opportunity by going to the actions and selecting create opportunity. So as you can see, it's filled in. Um, after I create, click create opportunity, it's filled in the contact name, um, the contact uh, number, uh, the company the contact is associated with. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is there's the sales cycle code. Um, so sales cycle is required when creating, and it's basically just a, a list pipeline or a list of um, sales processes that uh, you must go through to complete your sale. So as you can see, we're going to give this a title. So we'll call this uh, BC Software Sales. We can also um, provide the salesperson code that this is assigned to. So I'll select uh, John Roberts. And at this point, um, we could associate with a campaign and some other things, but at this point, we're, we're basically ready to go to process and activate the first stage of the sales cycle process. So we can do that by going activate first stage. You'll notice that it's created that uh, value. There is no estimated value here at this point. We haven't created a quote or anything. Uh, that's just initial um, opportunity that's been created. So with this selected, I can go to process and we'll select update on the opportunity. And I can just select update here and provide um, an estimated value of let's say $5,000 on the initial um, sale. And what's our chances of success? You know, at this point it's maybe 40%. The next thing we can do is go to uh, process the next stage of our opportunity. So we'll go to update next stage, which is the presentation stage. Everything is still the same. Now I'm at, you know, maybe 50% um, success. I'm still estimated close date is still the same. Hit OK. And as you can see, now I have a, um, a new value in my sales uh, cycle here. After we go through, if we go back to our, our home page, you'll notice that I have, um, if I look at open opportunities, which I can monitor or, or manage, I can see that, you know, our op opportunity that we've just created um, in here, uh, opportunity 006 is in here, it's in progress. Uh, so let's say we're basically done this process at this point. I can track different tasks associated with that opportunity if I wanted. And I can also close the specific opportunity. Other thing we can do is create sales quotes from an opportunity. So I have this opportunity selected. I'm going to hit it generate sales um, quote. Populates the customer name in here. And I can start putting uh, line items on here. So for example, if it's Quoting a chair here, uh, quantity is, let's say, five. It's giving me a total amount. At this point, I can um, print and actually email this document, um, this quote over to, or can attach as a PDF. So I'm just going to select attach this PDF right now. It's generating the report and it's creating an attachment. If I was to open up the attachment, Drill into the document. I can actually preview this. And this is what the client would see, um, customer would see, which is the five uh, guest chairs.